Let me show you my soap. Okay. Hey guys, this is Pamela. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So currently I'm working on a series specifically for Black History Month. As you can see, I'm pretty black. Um, I'm blackity black. Uh, both parents are black. Both parents are from uh, America. So I'm like super like African American. But with that, uh, I still have, you know, African descent, obviously. So I really wanted to kind of just kind of do a series based on Black History Month because I haven't really, I haven't seen one. So I'm like, let me, let me do some black stuff. You know, okay, so the soap that I'm doing today, I'm super excited about, a little nervous about, but I'm excited. So it is basically my, ooh, let me remember the name. <laughs> I got the name. So this is basically my African forest soap. Um, so that's the name of the soap. I'm probably gonna change the name. Right now it's just African forest. So basically it is inspired just by what I think and kind of like an African, um, like sunset-ish would look like, um, with like animals and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, subscribe and like for more videos. Uh, great. Hey, we're making some soap today. This is gonna be a very interesting soap that I'm doing. So, let's go get that lye water. Oh, here are my oils. Yep, get in the lye water. This always really scares me. Um, okay, let's try to keep it in a safe location. So, let me go ahead and get my oils up in here. Ready? Oh, this is all the oils, squeezing it on out of here. Here's a lie. I'm going to take this lie and we're not going to lie. So we're going to go ahead and pour the lie over the rod, I think, to help with air bubbles, to help avoid air bubbles. So just slowly onto the rod. Now that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and put this away because it's scaring me. Um, let's mix this lye up. Seems pretty good to me. It's already getting pretty thick. Okay, I'm gonna add the fragrance in right meow and we'll find out if it messes things up okay let's start measuring out the oils this time let's see Alrighty, so I had some soap left over after I measured, so I'm just going to like start putting them into, I'm just going to disperse it. Okay, done. So now I'm going to add some colors. Let me show you my colors real quick. So the colors that I'll be adding is, so I'm using this brand called Dibble Dabble. I got it off of Amazon. They have a bunch of colors for a decent price, so I'm trying them out. Oh, my hands are all silky. Okay. So I have, I'm gonna try this copper. This is all for the, well most, this is for the drop swirl that I'm gonna do. These are for the drop swirl. So I have red, well, what is it called? Fire engine red, tangerine powder. And then I mix a little of the black oxide in there for mild high soap, local owned daffodil. And then this will be for my lip. Ah, there we go. This is olive vine. Yeah. Anyway, I already threw them in here with the oils. This is jojoba oil that I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-mix it. It's funny because now this looks more red, but that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted it to look kind of, actually no, this looks dark reddish orange. 
That's actually the exact color I wanted. We're doing pretty good here, guys. Okay. We have our yellow. We have our red. Or the, this is the copper. We have our... And then we have this darkish reddish color that I really wanted. And our green. Uh, I just want to start with yellow. So maybe that's the color it'll turn out because with blue rocks, it turned out the color it's supposed to instead of green. If you want to check out blue rocks, go to my videos. I don't have a lot of videos right now, so it's easy to find. Oh, and it's already perfectly thick. She thick. Okay, let's start to get to swirling. Woo! So we're taking that uh, fun color. So we're gonna start off with this, uh, the color that I mixed up, that I wanted it to be like a darkish orange. It doesn't look orange at all, but I think it'll be cool. So I'll have it going from light to dark. Yes, we'll just, yes. It makes sense to me. Do, do, do. I'm a little soap girl. I'm a little soapy, soapy, soapy. Something smelling good. Is that this fragrance? Jeez, I was going to step away from this brand that I'm using because it's very expensive compared to like other companies. But man, it smells so good. Okay, we're going to swirl. Oh, I've never done that. Okay. Let us start with this guy. I'm going to do a little mix mix first. And then we'll just mix it on out. Like that. Like that. Did you get this on here? Okay, this is a nice one. Swirly, whirly. Uh huh. And another line. Uh -huh. We'll do a circle. Throw it in a circle. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, it's time to get to scraping. A little scrapey. I know. I know it's it doesn't make sense. So I am gonna tap this to get rid of air bubbles. Let me do a tappy tappy. Uh, I'm gonna get a toothpick, no not a toothpick, a pocket stick. Let's swirl this baby. I'm gonna try to do a butterfly swirl. So, swirl. That's not a butterfly swirl. Swirling, that's it. It's all the swirl you get, baby. Okay, now we're gonna do something that I'm so excited to do. But so far, it is really turning out good, good. I do not know if this is gonna be enough, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to create grass. This is taking a very long time. Oh, this is way harder than it looks. I hope this looks like grass. It 
looks like it wants to look like grass. There's really no meaning on this sort of thing. Oh, there we go. I think I'm going to do, so I'm going to try to redefine. So what if I do a little squirt here? I still have plenty of stuff left. Yeah, try to further define anything that's not grassy looking. Fill in all the holes. It's like it's spilling over. It's kind of weird. Is that how soap do? This looks grassy enough to me. I'm going to do just a few more. Yes, this looks like grass. And I cool. Let's put some embeds on this thing. So I have four different embeds that I was going to put in. Let's start with. Should I start with the bigger ones or the smaller ones? Um, I don't really know. Well, we'll just test it on this end, and I'll just start with bigger. So. You're not even gonna stand, are you, baby? It's supposed to be like an elephant. Water. And then <coughs> a bird. And a ball. I'm not going to be able to get that ball on here. I might have to wait a little bit before I start putting these embeds in because this elephant is falling. We'll try one more. Elephant. Water. bird. Gotta use the best of the best. Okay. Does that look like Africa? <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick some. Can I do that? I'm gonna try it here. I'm gonna test it. Get some more grass up in there. Okay, 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 okay. Not that one. This one. Perfect! Yay! And we have our soap. It's supposed to be like Africa. Um, maybe it'll look better when I chop it. It's actually really cute. I actually do like it. Only minimal concerns. So we're going to store this away and come back in like three days and chop it. Welcome back. Uh, my soap is done. Let me show you how my African <laughs> safari soap turned out. You know, I have my elephant, you know, taking a sip of water, the bird chilling in the corner. Let me give it a sniff. Wow. <laughs> it definitely smells a little different <laughs> from what I expected. Not in a bad way but in a different way. But what it is is, so I used this scent called Fresh Cut Wood and Fresh Cut Grass and a little bit of lemongrass. So my reasoning for doing that was because I was thinking, you know, it's like an African like theme. I wanted it to smell like safari-ish, like what I would expect walking into an African safari 
based off of what I know about Africa or based off of what America has fed me <laughs> about Africa. So those were the scents that I used. I usually don't like fresh cut grass, but when I bought it and I smelled it, I was like, oh, this actually doesn't smell so bad. It really is giving me the smell that I wanted. And it doesn't smell like a stinky fresh cut grass. It smells, you know, like, <laughs> it smells like a fresher cut grass, I don't know. So let me give you an up close look before I go ahead and cut it open. Alrighty, so I pop it out. Bam, bam, bam. But we will see. Oh, this came out so much better than my last one. Ooh. So I have to be careful because it's still a little soft. But look at that there. <laughs> and it smells definitely very safari like. Uh, let me move that out of the frame. Check that out, man. That's kind of cool. Just because it didn't turn out the exact way that I planned doesn't mean I am totally disappointed. So I am going to use this new cutter that I bought. So this thing, I got it off of Amazon. This is what I'm going to use as a newbie and then I'll get a better one later in life. So it has these numbers. Putting it up so that it's at the one here. So now I have my measuring tape to make sure that it's really one. Oh, okay. So it is one inch from this thingy. <laughs> that is super descriptive. Let's try it out. The only thing is, is I can't turn it to the side because of the way that this thing was built. And whose fault is that? It's mine because I bought it. I could have bought a cheese cutter, but I was a f from the reviews, people were saying that the cheese cutter wasn't good enough. So I'm gonna use this. Okay, so they gave me two things. They gave me this string thing and this cutter. I know how to use this. I have an idea of what they want me to do with this. I got no instructions. So let's uh, let's see how we do. Let me bring it closer so you can kind of see my success. Take this in between here. And holding it on the both sides. And it's down there. Let's pull out this first one. Oh. Oh no. How do I get you out? Oh. Oh. This ain't gonna work, baby. Oh, I guess I have to just loosen this up and then pull it back. You don't go any back or... Uh, yes, you do. Okay. And here is the corner piece. This is how it turned out the swirl. <laughs> I think it's freaking cute! Oh, the life of a newbie sopa. In the middle. Straight down. And there we go. All the way there. Loosen this guy up. Oh no, I lost my elephant on this guy, my baby. Crunch, 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 crunch. Ha. There we go. Much better. We got one. This is the back. I think that's kind of a cool swirl. Now, I know I messed up the swirl. Let me explain to you how I messed up the swirl. I swirled the, instead of the top like I was supposed to, I swirled, I swirled the whole in, like I went all the way in with my swirler. Like I went straight deep down to the bottom when you're supposed to only swirl it up top. So that's where I kind of messed up, but I'm a new person. So I'm gonna cut myself some slack and say, you know, I did good, I did good. Wow, it's an interesting smell. 
this is a little cutie poo. Oh, okay. So I think next time if I'm ever gonna do grass again, I need to do the whipped um, like dollops first and then put the grass on top of that. And I need to start using more alcohol to make sure that my embeds don't fall off. And that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, yes, my African soap turned out a little different than I it's not bad I think right now the hurdle that I'll be trying to jump over is the cutting but overall I do feel pretty good about my little African so um a uh, happy black history month <laughs> kickoff that's a part of my this is a part of my black history month series I have a few more soaps coming in for this series so Please like and subscribe. Be my friend. Goodbye.